What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and state sale finds. I only found a few things this week. Uh, it was raining uh, for most of the weekend, so sales were pretty light. Also, just not that many estate sales, but I did get out to a few and I picked up uh, a couple of items. And uh, Let's go ahead and get started. But first up, I picked up this candy thermometer. It's in good condition. It's from like the 40s or 50s. It was $5.00. Pretty cool little piece. I got this giant letter opener. Um, I was hoping that maybe these parts were silver, but they are just silver plated. Paid $11 for that. A little bit much, but still an old. I picked up a few watches. These were $5 each at an estate sale. This is a Benrus um, gold filled bezel. Uh, nice curved glass watch. I got this watch. Which is uh, an Inca, Inca block, Inca flex, Swiss made little watch, wind up watch. I got this watch. This is a Weiler gold filled ladies watch. Pretty nice, Swiss made. And this small Waltham gold filled watch. I got this um, silver little necklace for a dollar. And then this for a dollar as well. Another one of those college fraternity pins. Um, I found these before and I always sell them and this one has all the seed pearls um, which is kind of nice these are like twenty to thirty dollars a piece depending on the fraternity um, probably gold filled it could be ten carat I don't see any markings on this one so I'm gonna assume that it's gold filled but I picked up this silver dish um, had no idea really what it was I just thought it looked kind of nice and it was a weird shape um, I'm not sure what this is for um, maybe a service for like I'm guessing tea or coffee or something like that because um, it's got this weird shape so I'm guessing something goes here and something goes here but I thought it was kind of interesting so I turned it over and you'll notice um, just for the color, if you, if you can see, I'll try and get in close here, there's a little bit of green coming through, um, but it's not like all over green. Um, so that means like that it doesn't have a whole lot of other metals in it um, that are rusting, like not a lot of copper. And it has that mark on it. Try and get the best picture I can of it. And I don't know what that means. Uh, it's um, It looks like either the Cyrillic alphabet or possibly Farsi, I don't know. But this is definitely like Persian. And uh, I thought it might be silver. And it was only $2.00. And I took it home and I tested it, and it is silver. It weighs right around 200 grams, maybe a little bit more than that. I'm, I think it's 84 silver, which is 0.875% silver, um, which was commonly used on stuff with this kind of design. So pick that up. That was a good score. So I picked up this box now this is basically the view that I had of it at the sale it is a very unassuming box um, just looks like leather you can see it's scratched pretty badly it had like eight bucks on it you know if this is just a regular leather box with scratches on it eight bucks okay that's you know pretty fair for a you know average box like this but it had these little um, buttons on it, so I kind of like like to play with those, and I just thought this was kind of interesting. 
So I turned it over to see if there was anything on the back, which is something I commonly do, and I noticed that it had some writing that said that, which is Rolex. And then I opened it up, just, you know, okay, so that's interesting, so what's inside? Maybe it's a watch box or something. And I saw this. And then you can see Rolex on the emblems here. Right there, and then it says President. And it's a... Uh, a jewelry box. You can see. And it also had an original key and it works. The lock works. So for eight bucks, it's a pretty cool uh, jewelry box. The one thing that bugs me, as you'll notice, I'm holding this open. Um, this doesn't stay open by itself, which I don't know, really bothers me, but they have other ones with hinges that are like right here, you know, that's what you want, something to hold it up. So maybe someone can put a hinge on there, but um, really cool Rolex box for eight bucks. So just late today, um, just went cruising around to see if there was anything uh, left over at the garage sales. Didn't go out really early, um, but I saw a moving sale and it had this lamp and I asked how much and she said I could have the lamp for a dollar so I took the lamp um, I believe this is Famille Rose um, hand painted vase um, it's a lamp and I just thought it was kinda interesting so I noticed the color of course and then I noticed the base um, is usually you know on nice Chinese uh, antiques and stuff. Um, the cord also was another hint about that old style cord there. And then I noticed uh, this fixture and I don't know if you remember but my old sundial lamp had this same fixture on it. Uh, this is another Benjamin twin socket fixture which was like only made between like 1910 and 1935 or something like that. Um, it's obviously got some damage on the left bulb. It's missing the cap. Um, but you can find these fixtures and, and fix that. Uh, it probably needs to be rewired anyway too. Um, but there's the finial. And I'll show you the rest of the vase. You'll, you'll see the nice flowers um, up here, cherry blossoms, nice blue color. So I picked that up. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.